What's going on, folks? This is Mr. Apathy, Devlin James, coming to you with a quick video. And I had to make this video. Honestly, guys, I don't know why so many men are still getting married to or dealing with many of today's women. I was listening to the radio on my way into work the other day and listening to 105.1 The Breakfast Club, as always. They had the Ask Ye segment on where listeners can call in for relationship advice. Well, this woman calls in to discuss a so-called issue she recently had with her fiancé and future father-in-law. Apparently this woman was taking a quick road trip with her fiancé and future father-in-law and she was upset over the fact that her fiancé asked her to sit in the back seat so that his father can sit in the front seat with him. Apparently, she saw this as being disrespectful. Like he was being disrespectful to her by asking her to be polite and allow his father to sit in the front seat with him. Why should I have to sit in the back seat? I'm his fiancé. I'm his future wife. I'm a woman. I should not have to sit in the back seat. That's disrespectful. I'm listening to this shit and I'm getting fucking heartburn. Are you serious? This is fucking disgusting to me. Now, of course, I was paraphrasing most of that. But that was the gist of the conversation. The first thought that crossed my mind was, thank God I'm a man who's going his own way. And I don't subject myself to women who are completely self-absorbed twats like this one. I have two major issues with this chick. My first issue is in regards to the future father-in-law and the blatant lack of respect this bitch has for this elder man. There's a man who has worked for most of his life, providing for his family. There's a man who raised his son to be a man. He may be in the stage of his life where he's dealing with health issues. Maybe he has back pains. Why not have this man sit in the front seat with his son, your future husband, so he can have some comfort? I mean, hasn't he earned that fucking right? I mean, just think about it. Your fiancé might not be the man he is today if it wasn't for his father and his contributions and his sacrifices. He paid his goddamn dues in life. And you can't do something as simple as extend this man the courtesy and comfort of sitting in the front seat with his son. To me, she obviously has no respect for men. I hope that her fiancé was listening to the same broadcast so he can see the true nature of the woman he's about to throw his life away from. If this woman doesn't respect your father and the man that he is, what makes you think she'll respect you or your son should you be dumb enough to procreate with this bitch? My second issue with this chick is the fact that she's so self-centered and petty. Having an issue because you have to sit in the back seat? I think I stopped having issues with not riding shotgun anymore when I was like 16. This woman has to have been in her late 20s to early 30s. And this is how she's acting. Like a child. Many women do indeed act like children, and it is sickening. And this chick is just another example of a childish, narcissistic, and self-absorbed female, one who needs to be left alone. I was happy to see that everyone was going in on her, everyone from Angela Yee to Charlemagne to DJ Envy, stating that she needs to learn to respect her elders. That's your future father-in-law, they told her. 
Then they started taking calls from other listeners, who are mainly other women. And sad to say, but not surprising, they all share the same view as this woman. I don't think she's wrong at all. He should have let his father sit in the back seat. What's wrong with him? That's his future wife. Then they flipped the script on the same woman. Okay, so what if the roles were reversed? What if it was you and your mother taking a road trip with your fiancé? Would you ask your moms to sit in the back seat so he could sit in the front with you? What? Nah, he gotta take his ass in the back seat. That's my mom. Well, wait a minute. Now you be disrespecting him. It's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. He's a man, she's a woman. And you need to have a higher level of respect for women. There it is. That's the bullshit. They want a high level of respect because they have a pair of breasts and a vagina. That sense of entitlement. You gotta love it. Give me a fucking break. You can deal with these women if you want to. I just hope that this guy wakes the fuck up and cancels that engagement. Anyway, that's all I have for today. More women with shit fucking attitudes. You can really have them. You can fucking have them. This is Mr. Apathy, Devlin the Comet. If you like this, please rate, comment, share. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. More videos to come.